see, this is how smart I am, guys. It's uh, it was I had a late night. I had a late night. I'm sorry. What is going on, guys? Welcome to another exciting episode of JJ Plays Modded Minecraft. I am your host, John Michael Booth, aka JJ, and today we are going to be looking at the culmination of uh, what we created last week. Actually, let me show you uh, something really quick that I did here. I I elevated the farm a little bit. Um, why did I elevate the farm? Well, we're gonna get to that. Uh, but first. We want to look at uh, what happened last week. So let's try not to hurt ourselves. Come down here. If you recall, if you recall, we were looking at growing diamonds and growing Minicio. We had one Minicio and we had four diamonds in our inventory. We left this for 24 hours, powered by the farming station. Let's take a look at what we have now. Let's take a look at our Minicio first. We have over 2,000 Minicio, 27.89. That's sweet. What about diamonds? How did we do for diamonds? Well, we still have our four diamonds, but we have diamond essence now. F over 4,000 diamond essence. That is amazing. Uh, now, I'm going to admit I, uh, I cheated a little bit. It wasn't really a cheat so much. Well, I guess it was a cheat. Um, you know that watering can that I had? Hey, this guy right here. Water. Oops. Where is it? Watering can. This guy. Uh, if I were to turn into a bat and then fly up above my crops and use my watering can and hold it down, you can see it actually increases the speed of growth of my crops. Oops. So it, it will speed them up. Uh, unfortunately, you have to hold down the right mouse button in order to do this. So I wanted to kind of go to bed and leave this watering. So I kind of taped over my right mouse button so that it would stay clicked. And then I went to bed. <laughs> so so I, I might have got a few more crops than, uh, than I would have had I not done that. So... Uh, Hey, if you consider taping over your right mouse button to be constantly pressed for eight hours, then uh, if you consider that to be cheating, then leave a like down below. <laughs> all right. Let's take a look at what we can do with all of the things that we created. Uh, first of all, Diamond Essence doesn't do us a whole lot of good. Uh, but if I take that Diamond Essence and I put it into my crafting table like this, I get a diamond. So nine diamond essence gives me one diamond. And if I just stand here and click and click and click and click and click, all my diamond essence eventually gets used up and, uh, and becomes diamonds, which is very cool. The thing is, I probably shouldn't have used all of my diamond essence because I need uh, eight diamond essence to do something else. So let's put all of these diamonds away. And then let's get out our good friends, the infusion stones. So if you recall, I made a weak infusion stone which allows me to take Minicio and turn it into Accio. I made a regular infusion stone which allows me to take the Accio and turn it into Crucio. Then I made the strong infusion stone which allows me to take the Crucio and make it into Imperio. Then I made the Extreme Infusion Stone, which allows me to take the Imperio and make it into Zavisio. That's all well and good. The main problem with these, as you can see, they have a durability associated with them. So let's, uh, let's take our Weak Infusion Stone here, and then let's get out some Minicio. And let's put it all the way around here. And remember, I have like 2,700 Minicio. So as I try to, oops, you don't do it like that at all. You do it like this. There you go. Um, as I shift click this, it's slowly going to use up my durability. And eventually, there it is. I've worn out my weak infusion stone. 
I still have over 2,000 Minisio that I need to transform. So I should make another weak infusion stone, right? Wrong. Today, I am going to make one stone to rule them all, the master infusion stone. And in order to make the master infusion stone, you surround your extreme infusion stone with some powerful essence, such as the uh, diamond essence, some platinum essence, some whatever. Unfortunately, I am missing two essence because I just used it all and turned it all into diamonds. But we can get some pretty fast. Uh, watch this. If I just water my crops for a few seconds here, you'll see some diamonds pop up and disappear. Where did they go? Remember, my farming station is constantly grabbing those diamonds and pulling them into the chest. And then they get loaded automatically into my ME system, and I can access it at any terminal. So, essence. There you go. There's my two diamond essence I needed. Master Infusion Stone. And the coolest part about the Master Infusion Stone is that it does not have a durability. See, it is infinite durability. So now I can take all of my Minisio, and I can turn it into Accio just by clicking. Then I can get rid of all of my Accio, I mean my uh, Minisio, and put the Accio in here. Let's get all this into my ME system. Then turn it into Crucio. Put that in there. And you can see I'm doing this with one stone, too. So I don't have to have multiple stones anymore. Now that I have the Master Infusion Stone, this process becomes very, very simple. So let's take that out. Clear that. One, two, three, four. And boom. I now have 10 Zavisio. From all of my effort, from all of my effort, I've managed to get a whole whopping 10 Zavisio. Well, what can you do with Zavisio? Well, at the moment, I can't do much with it because I only have 10. But I'll give you a hint. I need 27 of them to do what I want to do next. So I will leave that with you. You guys can think about that. What could I do with 27 Zavisio? And uh, yeah, let's move on to something else for now because I need to grow a whole bunch more of this um, Minisio and uh, diamonds and things like that. Uh, one of the things I do need to do though is create something that's going to help me a great deal. Uh, and that thing is called a growth pulser. Growth pulsers are made with Minisio blocks. They're also made with stone and they're made with diamonds. Um, I kind of just took all of my Minisio and turned it into uh, into Zavisio. So that kind of uh, defeats the purpose. I do have one Minisio block, which is great. But I'm going to need some more. So, guys, give me a minute. I'm going to go, uh, well, give me a few minutes. I'm going to go stand here for, uh, for a little while, and I'm going to generate myself some more Minisio as fast as I can uh, so that I have enough to make these growth pulsers, pulser things. All right, that should do it, guys. I have been at this for quite a while, as you can see. And uh, let's see how much Minisio I managed to get in uh, in that hour or so. Minisio. So I'm back up to about 655 Minisio, which is fantastic. Uh, let's see what I can do. This, so this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to make these uh, Minisio blocks. So you have to take nine Minisio, stick them all together, and then you can basically click them. So I got, uh, I got just uh, about uh, a stack and a bit of Minisio blocks. So, Next question is, do I have any stone? I have cobblestone, but I don't have any real stone. Oh man, I, <laughs> I should have set up the stone to cook before I, was, uh, before I was doing that. See, this is how smart I am, guys. It's, uh, it was, I had a late night. I had a late night. Sorry. Don't worry, I won't make you guys sit through this, but, uh, but for me, yeah, this is gonna be a little bit a little bit of a while so I'm just going to load some cobblestone into my furnace I'm going to cook the cobblestone down and then eventually it will go into this chest as stone uh, really all I need is four to start with and you guys should get the idea
Alright, there's four stone. So, let's come over to a crafting terminal. And let's see what happens if I want to make growth pulsers. So, I need four Minisio blocks, I need four stones, I need them in this configuration, and bang, I get a growth pulser. This is pretty cool. I can come out here. And, hello sheep, why is there a sheep underground? Okay, whatever. Take my growth pulser, and then... I'm going to stick it right here in the corner. And it doesn't look like it's doing too much, but what it's actually doing is accelerating the growth of this one particular plant. Is it accelerating it a lot? Not really. Just a little bit. Um, over the course of uh, a long time, it will definitely produce more than an unpulsed plant. But the cool thing about these growth pulsers is that they are stackable, which means I can stack a whole bunch of them. In fact, I can stack 64 of them all the way down, which is why I raised this platform up. Right now we're on uh, ow. Right now we're on level 68, y equals 68. You can see that in my little uh, mini map in the corner there. Um, and if I go down two levels to level 66, which would be where the growth pulsers start, and then go down. I should be able to go all the way down to level 2, y equals 2, which is just above bedrock. So that should be cool. I'm going to have to dig this hole all the way down to bedrock. But first, I need to kill a zombie. Hi. What are you doing? Get out of my area. What did you drop? Anything good? Nope. Rotten flesh. Okay. Let's move on to something else while we're waiting for uh, our stone. Actually, you know what? I think uh, I left some stone cooking. So let's close the door so we don't get swarmed by mobs. Oh, good. We have 15 now. Let's wait till we get one more. As soon as we have 16, we'll be able to make another bunch of growth pulsers. So there we go. Come back over here. Growth Pulsar. Let's make... Oh, I need to put all these things in my ME system in order to make this work better. There we go. That. Okay, so I have four more Growth Pulsars. And I have more uh, Minisio blocks as well, so eventually we'll be able to make a whole bunch of Growth Pulsars. And it would probably help if it was day as well. That's probably why you're not seeing anything grow. So, ah! Yeah, don't go through the walls. Okay, so let's just have a quick sleep. And then we will... Actually, I think I can just fly out of here, right? If I take my growth pulsers now... And stack them. So now I've got, what five growth pulsers stacked up. Hopefully you'll be able to visually see that crop growing faster than the rest now. Well, maybe not. <laughs> it still takes a long time to grow things, even with five growth pul pulsers. But the nice thing is, um, like I said, these things stack and the longer I leave my crops growing without touching them, uh, the more diamonds I'll get because I'm still growing diamond crops, the more Minisio I'll get because I'm growing a lot of Minisio, and the more growth pulsers I'll be able to make. Eventually, once you have a stack of 64 of these things, it's really cool because they grow almost instantly. So you end up with a full crop, you know, in a matter of seconds, and then you end up with basically just infinite crops. So that's, uh, that's what we're going to be working towards. Now, there's a couple other things that I wanted to do this episode. Um, I wanted to start onto a brand new set of machines, stuff that I haven't done before. Uh, and I have a very specific reason for doing that that is related to the farming stuff. So uh, let me just take a look at what I need. 
first thing I need to do is take a quick trip to the nether because we're going to need some something from there. So let's head in. Here we go. Through the portal and into the nether. And the thing I need from the nether is just this stuff. Just nether rack. So pretty easy. Nothing too uh, dangerous. I don't even have to go out into the sort of main part of the, the world yet. Oh, did I break my pick already? That's okay, because I have tons of nether rack. I only needed a few pieces of nether rack, so I've got a bunch. It's a lot easier going to the nether to, to mine for things like nether rack than it is even going into a mine to mine for something like iron, so I'm very thankful for that. I need to cook this nether rack. So since I'm already using that furnace over there, uh, actually, I've got a bunch of furnaces here, don't I? Okay, so that, that, uh, that, and that. And I have four more pieces right up there. And did I leave conduit binder in there? I did. Hey, look at that. I think I left gold and stone. Let's come back over here and get rid of some of these resources. Stone, rotten flesh, conduit binder, gold ingots. Need my pickaxes. Let's get a couple more of those because I've used them. And I love my pickaxes. I need to make something called Invar. In order to make Invar, I need iron, which I have in abundance. And I also need some nickel. Do I have any nickel? Yes, good. I have three pieces of nickel. So let's come over here to our alloy smelter and we'll stick iron and nickel in there. Not that much iron. I really only need, I think, a few pieces. And there we go. I have my nine invar. See how much faster the alloy smelter goes when you have the double layer capacitors in there? So that's pretty cool. So now I take my invar and I put it in a sort of plus formation. Put a piece of iron in there and I get Invar gears. One, two. That's what I needed. So let's put those into the ME system. Next I need nether brick which is getting cooked right now. Let's see if we're ready with any of our nether brick. Yes, I have ten nether brick already. Beautiful. Um, but I need more than ten. But I don't need more than 20, so I'll take the 20. And I'll come over here, and I will take these and put them in this formation and get these. Nether brick. Kind of weird. You use nether brick to make nether brick, but this is uh, stacked nether brick. So let's stick that in there and move on to the next thing, which is gears. I need to make some tin gears. And tin gears are made by taking some tin and surrounding it, uh, or surrounding a piece of iron. And I need, I think, how many do I need of those? I think I need two. So let's take two of those. And then I need to make one more thing. And this is something called a lead stone energy cell. And I believe that's this thing right here. So in order to make, is it the leadstone energy cell or do I just need the frame? I think I just need the frame. I need a leadstone energy cell frame. Uh, and you do that with four lead, four pieces of glass, and a redstone block. Uh, I believe I have all of these things. Oh, I don't have the redstone block. So let's get the redstone block. Um, Redstone blocks are really easy to make. All you do is take nine redstone and put them together and you get a redstone block. And finally, we can make our leadstone energy cell or our frame, I mean. There we go. Leadstone energy frame. Got that. And all of that leads to this thing called a magma 
crucible. And it's made like this. So you take your leadstone energy cell frame and some nether brick and some invar gears and you take one of these things called a redstone reception coil, which I believe I have a couple of those already. And, oh, did I forget to make my energy frame? I did. So, there we go. We take our tin gears, we put them in here. I'm actually going to make a couple of those. And then we can make our magma crucible. And it gets made just like that. And there we have a magma crucible. What do we do with a magma crucible, you may ask? Well, to start with, we stick it on the wall and we give it some power. A magma crucible's job is to take items and melt them down into liquid. And the item that we're going to be melting down, I will not tell you yet. I'm going to save that for another episode. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked me building my magma crucible and the uh, growth pulsers and all that other stuff, click the like button. <laughs> if you guys, I know, sell out moment. If you guys are new to this channel and you want to see more videos, click the subscribe button down below and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this series. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love every single one of you and I will talk to you guys next time.